The reason people love SpaceX is because we don't care how it gets done. We just care that we actually start trying to do things in space, that we're trying to expand in space. And if that means we need an eccentric billionaire who smoked a blunt on Joe Rogan's podcast, guess what? I'm going with that crazy bastard. And the same thing goes for Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos, who every day is starting to look more and more like Lex Luthor. So yes, I'm going with them because they're actually progressing space. I am rooting for them because of that. And what NASA needs to do is just set goals that allows them to generate positivity and optimism around their space program. You know, it's really more of a culture game. They're really trying to get people interested while at the same time develop a technology. And I think there was a huge reason to do so during the Apollo program because they were shoving money into that program. 6% of the GDP, it was the number I remember. 6% of the entire GDP of the country was going into the space program. So people had to, uh, you know, taxpayers were saying, well, all right, give me something. So they smartly said, let's film it and got more people involved. I mean, it would be a huge disservice to humanity if we let this bubble of momentum in space and interest in space die without taking full advantage of it. At least the private sector really is. And NASA is, is rightfully behind this. They've been funding companies like SpaceX and, uh, and people like Blue Origin and stuff like that. So they're, they're involved. It's not that they don't know this. It's that the system gets shuffled every eight years by a new administration, and then they have to start over. So you can't move very fast like that. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, wherever you like it, YouTube. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back next week for another episode. As always, spread love, spread science. I am Alex Shurifanos, your science communicator. See you next week.